today I'm going to be working on the floor but not that one that one look look at my carpet yes there's a little bit still over there but I got rid of it Martin did as I was told hi folks welcome back to another video I'm gonna do some work on the floor that we saw me clean off in the last one see if we can clean the rust up and see what state it's in how many repairs we need to make right I'm gonna start cleaning up around this area here because it uh, looks quite a bit more rusty than I, uh, I thought it was previously and this area at the front edge uh, tidy up this clean back some of these nasty welds I've done previously and see if I can redo those a bit better and I need to get the other side and just line this bit of floor up a bit it dips in a bit so just need to try and hammer that a little bit once I've had a look at this area I'll move on to this section where um, a patch I put in previously was cut too short so I need to cut that out a little bit to make it big enough for a piece of steel to go in and then uh, I need to look at welding the edges of the sills. I'm going to see weld and previously I drilled and done some plug welds but they're not very good so I'm going to look at seam welding between the flutes. So let's, uh, let's see how we get on. I think for some, of, for some of this area, I've cleaned back quite a lot of it, but it's quite, it's quite uh, uneven, so I need to use a, a wire wheel, I think, to clean inside, <coughs> excuse me, clean inside the, these ridges. I do need to try and tap them a bit from the inside just to try and bring it all a bit flatter. Used a bit of box section and a hammer just to try and smooth out some of that. Looks a little bit better. That edge isn't great though, but I don't think there's a great deal I can do about that just at the moment. I need to clean up the rest of the rusty bits around here and I can cut some bits out.
you've cut a piece out of steel like that weld in there piece marked out there I'm gonna cut that out and uh, see about welding that in it's just a couple of bits of uh, leftover panels I didn't use there's the uh, patch made can have a look at it for uh, size needs a little bit taken off the corner You can use a file in the hole. Fit, patch fits quite nice in that hole so we'll get the welder turned on and we'll uh, tap that in. Seems you fell out of there chaps. First mistake is not turning down the welder.
once that patch in the floor uh, welded up I'm going to grind it now grind it back and see if there's any pinholes hopefully uh, it'll be uh, it'll be all right because uh, it seems to go okay that one so uh, I'll show you in a minute when I've uh, ground it back Right then, I'm not that back with the grinder. I'm going to try and hold the camera there and drop me, talk, me uh, light down the other side and see if I can see any light coming through. Lights on the other side. And I think there's a tiny little hole at the bottom there, but it's pretty good that. I'm pretty pleased with that. A little cut there with the grinder by mistake. Another little hole here. That should do the trick. Right, before I start grinding again, I'm going to start cleaning, rolling up some of these holes. Right then, I've finished working on the car for today. I've done a little bit more since uh, we last had a video. Let me have a look. There we go. I've, I'll show you. Right, what I've done is I have um, cut away the lip along there, replaced the peat section in there, and then made a new new edges along here and uh, to there. They welded on. There's not. There's no holes in there. I did the uh, did the uh, test with the light on the other side, uh, and I've been over. I did find some holes. I've been over filling them in there, just uh, where the, the weld's slightly uh, proud. But they're all solid. Um, just blasted a bit of white primer on it just to keep it right. I started cleaning up this section and doing a bit to this hole up here, uh, and then my welding wire ran out again. So can't bother to change it now. It's getting late. Tea's cooking. I'm going to um, chuck some uh, pure rust over the uh, bits I've been cleaning up and uh, call it a day for today. Let me know what you think, give us a comment, say hello if you've not commented before and uh, if you've the first, first time you've seen one of my videos or you've watched some of them but not subscribed, click the subscribe button, it be much appreciated. Thanks very much, I'll see you later. One last thing before I go. Stanford All Mini Fest is uh, cancelled tomorrow. 
uh, because of the weather <clears throat> it's a bit of a shame but uh, left me thinking about any other car events now I've had a bit of a look around and I've seen the oh so retro show advertised um, on week week tomorrow um, it's quite far away it's in Kent it's about four hours away anyone know if it's worth a visit it's uh, it'll be Sunday the 30th of September if it's worth if you think it's worth a four-hour drive I might go and have a look at uh, have a look at that I do uh, do quite fancy going to see some cars after uh, not being able to this weekend gonna have a bit of a tidy up now I did do a lot of tidying up um, in here this week gonna have a bit of a tidy up in the garage now I've uh, got stuff out everywhere again I did have a bit of a tidy up this week in here as you might be able to see if I just poke the camera over there somewhere I'm just seeing the car gonna have a bit of a tidy up now uh, as you can see I had a bit of a tidy up there's a clear floor and I can get down this side of the car now which will be useful when I need to do the floor on the other side so uh, there's the inside of the car see those repairs uh, the inside of uh, today's work you can see those have been those are the repairs penetration all the way through which is nice um, I did have a tidy up in here and just something for uh, Martin I haven't got rid of the carpet yet uh, I will do at some point it just seems a bit awkward with this this mini in the way um, maybe when the mini's uh, able to move out of the way I'll get rid of it but I've been in here with this car two years and I've not set fire to it yet so just keep keep my fingers crossed anyway I really am going this time thanks guys bye bye